What's going on people, it's your boy Fuzzer here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I finally have the Molten Valkyrie skin within Fortnite Battle Royale. And yes guys, that does now mean that I do own the Lava Legends pack. It is available in Fortnite Battle Royale right now on pretty much all platforms. If you guys can't see it in your Fortnite store, don't worry too much. It will be available worldwide within the next 24 hours. So you guys should be able to pick it up soon enough. But obviously guys, with this pack you get two skins, two batblings and one glider as well. It's absolutely amazing so we have quite a lot of stuff to cover and quite a lot of showcases to go through in today's showcase we're going to be showcasing the molten valkyrie skin with all of my battlings as always i will normally pick like a top five i don't know if i'm going to have enough time to go through and pick a top five for each skin and battling and stuff like that so what i'm going to do at the end of the video i'm just going to be picking one skin or one battling from each row which i think went the best with that battling or skin and that's how i'm going to be picking my top five for these specific showcases anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below but without further ado let's get straight into the showcase here is the molten valkyrie skin with all of my batblings and as i said already at the end of the showcase i'll be picking one batbling from each row which i think went the best so as i go through i won't be favoriting my favorite ones as i usually do simply because there's so much to go through and we don't have that much time anyways let me know your favorite combos in the comment section below and let me know what you guys rate this pack and the molten valkyrie skin in the comment section below but the first black bling that we have is the Molten Crest and Cape. Definitely goes very well with this skin and that's to be expected because it's pretty much from the same pack. We also have the Molten Valkyrie Wings. This is obviously what it comes with. In my opinion guys, the Molten Valkyrie Wings are definitely better than the normal Valkyrie Wings. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Definitely a fire set of wings. There's so much cool stuff that actually come within this pack. It's absolutely amazing. We have the Altitude right here. We got the Arc Wings. Backup Plan. Black Shield. Black Shield looks really good. It kind of glitches through her shoulder pads on her hair, but it still looks pretty good. Freezing Point. Fallen Wings. Enduring Cape. Elim. Deflector. Doesn't look that bad. It actually blends pretty well. Dark Wings. Dark Matter. Cuff Case. Frozen Iron Cage. Frozen Love Wings. Frozen Red Shield. Frozen Shroud. The Ice Mantles. We got Gold. Silver, black, blue, iron cage, last gasp, love wings, subjugator, skirmish, scaly, the red shield. Again, the red shield would probably look pretty good, but the way it's glitching through her hair and her shoulder pads, I don't like it that much. Pursuit, uh, padlock, off world rig, malice wings, wolf pack, astro. Ballistic, Blasting Cap, Blue Shift, Board Bag, Bogey Bag, Bonesy. If any of you guys are wondering how much the pack currently is, for the UK it cost I think £16 and for the US I'm pretty sure it's $20. Um, uh, New Zealand and stuff like that I think it's like $25 New Zealand dollars or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. But for the UK it's £16 and for the US it's $20. Definitely affordable in my opinion and definitely worth the money. I mean we're getting two legendary skins which normally would cost you 2,000 V-Bucks each. We're getting two legendary battlings which would obviously come with those legendary skins. So that still obviously works around to be like 4,000 V-Bucks usually. Then we also get a legendary glider and I'm pretty sure the Frostwing when that came out that was 200 V-Bucks by itself. So essentially we're getting like 600 V-Bucks worth of items in this one pack for only £15 and £15 usually would probably only get you around 1,500 V-Bucks. So you know you're spending £15 and you're getting 6,000 V-Bucks worth of cosmetics. Definitely a must cop in my opinion. But as I said already let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. This skin is so much fire. I really do like it. Um, I think I prefer... The thing is, I don't know. I don't know if I prefer the normal Valkyrie over this Valkyrie, but I just prefer uh, the Molten Valkyrie Wings to the normal Valkyrie Wings. I think that's what it is. So we've got the V6. Let's go through the edit styles. That one probably looks the best. Uplink. Trusky Tusks. True North. If I had to give this rating, if I had to get a pack, a rating out of 10, not gonna lie to you lot i'd probably give it a solid nine you know 
Reason being is because I don't, well, I previously didn't own any of these skins. I didn't own the normal Valkyrie and I didn't own the normal Battlehound. And um, yeah, they're both really nice skins. So now I actually do own them and I didn't really have to pay the full price. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm actually really happy that they've actually brought these two skins within this pack. It just so happened to, to be two skins that I didn't own. So, you know, I felt like that kind of went in my favor a bit. So we've got uh, Hypnotic here, Double Play, Disco Ball, Scrappy, Signal Hub, Scully Satchel, Heart Satchel, Heart Satchel doesn't look too bad, Squire Shield, Standard Issue, Sun Wings, Tabulator, Techie, we got the Trail Tote, Sun Sprout, Lucky Coins, Haystacks, and last but not least, Combat Wraith. So that was all of my babblings on the new Molten Valkyrie skin. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But as promised, guys, I will be picking one babbling from each row, which I think went the best. So for this row, I'm probably just going to give it to... Let's give it to Lucky Coins. It blends very well. You know, it's very small as well and compact. In this row right here... I did like the heart satchel for some reason. I mean, it doesn't even go with the skin, but I like it. But um, maybe, let's just say Signal Hub, you know, it's reactive, it fits nice. You know what I mean, it doesn't look too bad. For this row, I think we're going to go with... Let's just go with the double play for this, this one. I mean, it does cater to the colour scheme a bit. With this row right here, I don't think I went through these. But let's just go with the Red Llama. It does bend pretty well, in my opinion. Um, I did like the V6 for this row. Where's the V6? This one looked good and this one looked good. The other two are a bit meh. Don't know if I'd rock that babbling with the skin, but you know, it's definitely a decent combo to mention. Stitches for this row, really did like stitches. I mean, you could rock the shadow wings as well. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, wait, sorry guys, I missed where I was. Alright, so we're on this row. Um, for this row, I'll probably have to give it to... Let's just give it to Rust Bucket. I mean, it's not the best of combos, but it does blend pretty well and it does cater to the colour scheme in my opinion. The Malcor Wings looks pretty good for this row, so I'm just going to say the Malcor Wings. Uh, Katana and Kunai doesn't look too bad as well. And Mini Marada or Merry Munchkin, I think his name is, looks pretty cool. Uh, for this row... I don't want to give it to no more wings, but these wings look fire. That looks really nice. And then Burgle Bag also looks pretty good. So I'll tell you out of those two for that row. In this row right here, hands down we're giving it to Wolfpack. That's clean as hell. In this row, I really did like the Malice Wings. That looks fire. I do really like those. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, Padlock also looks really good for this row. In this row right here, I mean, you could rock the Frozen Shroud. I don't personally like capes in this game, but that's just my opinion. Uh, the normal Iron Cage looks pretty good. Normal Love Wings is not too bad. Ice Mantles, again, wasn't too bad as well. The black one looks pretty cool. Uh, the gold is a bit of a nair, but, you know, the black does look pretty cool. So I'm going to go with the black Ice Mantles for that row. In this row right here, you know, you could rock these wings. Probably wouldn't, know simply because, you know, this skin comes with wings. Deflector didn't look too bad, and Cuff Case looked pretty good as well for that row. And in the top row, guys, obviously this is what it comes with, so we can't really pick this, but this is pretty much a perfect combo in my opinion. Beautiful wings. I really do like the Creston Cape with this skin. That's just my opinion. And I said it already, I really did want the Creston Cape, um, like, a few months ago and stuff. But I didn't want to cop the Battle Hound simply because he was so old. But now that we have a new cape and it is this size, I really am appreciative. I feel like this is the best size for capes. It's not in the way. It doesn't cover the whole body. But you're still seeing the cape. Anyways, that was all of my show cape. Well, that was all of my babblings on the new Molten Valkyrie skin. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, guys. Was this video helpful? If it was, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all of my other showcase videos that will be coming out very soon. I'm going to have a showcase for the Molten Battle Hound, where I showcase that with all of my babblings as well. Then I'll also be doing a showcase for the Molten Valkyrie wings and the Molten Creston cape as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Anyways, it's been your boy Furs. I am out. Peace.